Dixie Central with Burt Barron. Think we could listen to the radio or something? On the new Talk Radio 1450 WCTC. It is 7.09. Welcome to hour number two of Jersey Central on the new Talk Radio WCTC. The voice of Central Jersey. This Telefriend Tuesday. We'll see temperatures in the mid-80s. Your full forecast is coming up 7.15. Tom Colangelo will have a traffic update for us then as well. We've got a contest on the way today. Going to give away a family four-pack of tickets. The New York International Auto Show is coming up very soon, and your chance to win is coming up uh, in just a little bit, so stick around. You heard my uh, interview series in the last half hour there with things uh, going on with the New Jersey Builders Association and Millennials and where people are moving to and where people are calling home nowadays. Uh, Lots of things are happening when it comes to uh, these uh, millennials and their beliefs on settling down, which could be uh, much different than yours and mine. Joining me now on the Jersey Central Newsmaker Hotline is the uh, Marketing and Communications Director for Mayflower, uh, she is Melissa Sullivan. She's here to talk about uh, some results about the millennial moving habits and uh, just kind of interesting as to what the, what's going on with uh, millennials nowadays. Melissa, good morning. It's Bert Bear, and welcome to the show. How are you? Good morning, Bert. I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm um, well. Good to speak with you. Well, what exactly is the term a vacation mover all about? What exactly does that mean? So at Mayflower, we define a vacation mover as someone who has moved to a new city without a timeline to settle there permanently. So we find this more and more with the millennial generation. They're looking for adventure, excitement, and they're delaying life events compared to other generations. And so they'll move to a new city for a few years with no intention of settling in that city permanently. Is this, are these cities close to where they grew up, Melissa? Or you mentioned about the adventurous spirit of these young people. They want to go far away and just see what the, the rest of the world is like, right? Right. They're not necessarily moving somewhere close to where they've always lived. They're looking for a fun job or an exciting lifestyle. And maybe they're thinking, well, I can go to a city that is a little out of my price range to buy a new home or to settle permanently, but I can live there for a while when I don't have the expenses of of a family or the need to necessarily buy a home. Cohabitation has become a big deal here in Jersey, particularly in the uh, suburbs of New York and Philadelphia, where millennials are sort of uh, getting their own place together and they're pitching in the bills and sharing all the expenses before they kind of figure out what it is they want to do with the rest of their lives. Are you seeing a lot of that uh, with what you do with these uh, cohabitation of these millennials? You know, certainly that is that is something that we see. You know, we partner with this study that we do to gain insights on millennial moving habits. We partner with Dr. Jeffrey Arnett at Clark University, and he studies millennials and their lifestyles. And he does point to, um, you know, millennials are doing a lot of the same things that their parents and grandparents did, but it's, it's taking them a little longer to get to those life stages. They're delaying things like marriage and buying a house and uh, looking to have a more adventurous lifestyle, have new experiences. And so um, cohabitating and sharing some of the expenses, that's one way that millennials are finding to support that lifestyle. Is this troublesome to the parents, Melissa, when a a, a kid says, well, I'm going to go to this city, I don't know why or how long I'm going to be there or what I'm going to do for a living, but uh, this is where I just want to go for a little while. Don't, Don't parents get a little troubled by that? Well, so I have some good news for all the parents of millennials out there. So the vast majority of millennials that we talked to that were vacation movers, they're also what what we like to call settle downers. Um, 91% of vacation movers say they plan to find a place, put down roots, and settle there permanently. And about 80% of those people say they want to buy a home. So millennials are doing those traditional things like buying a house and settling in one city, starting a family. They're just doing it a little bit later in life than what their parents or grandparents may have done. Okay, and cities can be a little more enticing to millennials by offering mass transit and restaurants and things like that too, right? Those are great things for cities to do. And if cities are looking to attract millennials permanently, there are a few things that they can do as well because you hear a lot about the hot real estate markets that are really attracting millennials, but if they're a vacation mover, are they planning to stay there? So what millennials are really looking for is a good job market. They they want to find their dream job and stay there. 
Um, but they're also looking for an affordable real estate market. If they're going to settle down somewhere permanently, they have to um, find an affordable home. Good stuff. Melissa Sullivan, Mayflower Marketing Communications Director, thank you for the time. Is there a website that people can visit for more? Absolutely. We have our full research results available at mayflower.com. Excellent stuff. Have a great day, Melissa. I appreciate the information. Thank you. Same to you. All right. Take care. All right. Jersey Central Traffic and Weather Time.